Well, I made it back to the Greenleaf Hiking Trail. I came here with Eddie January 2019. This is April 2020. A little over 14 months ago, and Eddie died since, so it's kind of sad out here, but it sure is beautiful. Well, that little hut, they call it the green hut, I just went through it, and they had a warning sign at the trailhead, there were wasps in there. <laughs> I located the nest, it was a paper wasp, and uh, hurried through there. Have to go back through it after a while. Long trail goes around that bridge, on the bridge, and that's right where the entrance to the entire park is back up where that backhoe is and there's people right there and that road right there goes back to where I started and there's highway 10 landing I'm gonna walk down this a little bit this is new so far I give Greenleaf Trail about a C in Oklahoma and a D in nationwide there's a few, there's some beautiful little spots, but there's just too much busyness. You can hear the main park area noise, and then you hear this highway, and you never quite can get away from all this stuff, this human activity. So, I'm not too impressed with it, but I'm going to go ahead and knock out some miles. This is easy miles here. This is what I usually do, walk on pavement. Except I'm carrying a 13 and a half pound pack. So I'll go up here and I want to do three miles in, three miles out, and then I'll see how I feel. I just haven't hiked in so long on real hiking trails, which I was up till this point. So this is actually a little bit of a break before I do some more real hiking. I can hear the cars coming down the hill. <laughs> so there were three came down. I'm trying to get across this narrow part of the bridge. It's kind of crazy. I see a truck parked up here. I bet the trail starts right at the end of the guard up there. So next time, I'll probably just park up here. trail going off to the right before you get to that car. I've had about eight cars pass me. There's the bridge down there I walked across and I came out on the other side of that. And that was after, I think it was one mile to there. So I'll go up here and see if the trail starts again. It better. It looked like it on the map. I'll have to just turn around and walk back across that. There's one over there on the right hand side. I'll do that if nothing else, but I think the trail starts right up here to the left. There's the bridge. I walked across it and the trail starts right here. So we'll go down this a mile or so. There's no hardly anybody down here. They're all on the other side. There's an easy oh, mile and a half loop, two miles maybe, and some of it's road from the Greenleaf Park. So that's what everybody's doing. Get thin them out down here. That's a lovely little stream coming down, cascading down the rocks. White noise, it's nice. You can still hear the cars from the highway though. Have to go in further. And then it goes here and it pools up and then it goes on into the lake, greenly. That's what I saw on the other side. I thought it was a boat ramp. It's the it's a low water dam. And you can see and it goes way down. It's a long one. With that flight, that's what I was seeing across the lake. And it, I couldn't see the low water dam. Just that water running there. 
the water is high. We're in northeast Oklahoma. All the lakes are up. I noticed the rivers are running. We've got the dam gates open. The rivers are running. What's well, a cool breeze coming off there? Feels good. There's these wildflowers out here. Well, I can't remember what they are. There's a lot of them. And in these, uh, in places, the, you know, these aren't a good example. Let's see. It looks like deer have eaten some. They're just nipped off. I know deer do that with sunflowers. Because I used to try to plant sunflowers in one area, a rural area I lived, and the deer kept eating them, so I gave up. But it's nice over here. You do have boat noise over there. You can see the marina. So there's always noise other than the forest. But it is lovely. It's nice in here. This side. Just going along the side of a hill up and down. Each little creek you go down to. And it's muddy because we've had so much rain for a year. It's nice in here. Here are the birds. I just about ended up with a Terry Warbler. I've heard a bunch of them out here around the lake. And there's my shoe. And <laughs> wait for that to come off. I just drag, kind of dragging my foot along. There's some muddy areas here. I just soon have it on until I get through those. I'll end up with four miles. And it's been, I'd say, typical hiking trail, a lot of it. So, this has been typical hiking trail. About, I'll end up four miles. I was hoping to get six till my boot sole came off, the traction mark. I'm trying to try get through this mud. And I turned around at the two mile mark. And then last week I only got about two miles hiking with Sparky. I took him down to a little area I wasn't planning on miles, so. I guess next week I'm going to have to go back to walking. I was wanting to get some hiking in, but, and some miles, but it's just one thing and another. Trying to get them in. It is nice right here. There's a north breeze that's coming across the lake, and it feels really good. And now I get back across this bridge. It's not too bad. And then on the other side there on the right is where I gotta reconnect with the trail. This has been a different hike than I ever expected. But the trick is to come there where that car is and park right in there. Then the trail is right across to the left. It's very pronounced. There's that low water bridge channel I saw earlier and was over above. I'm less than a mile from the car. This Paraline easement up there is a lookout. A different trail and I took Eddie there last year. It's like a kid's paved trail kind of thing. And he was blind so I could take him and take the stroller there. Looking at that bird flying over. And down here is the bridge that I walked over a minute ago. <laughs> walked over twice now. 
I remember when I got up that lookout January 29th, I was so disappointed. It's actually a great view, except you got these gigantic power lines going through. Kind of ruins the ambiance of the forest and hills.